Welcome to Spiritual Minefield. Today we're going to continue the series, Put on the Full Armor of God for Battle. Feet Sandaled with the Gospel of Peace, Part 4. Today we're starting in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, which says, And with your feet fitted with the readiness of the Gospel of Peace. A soldier's shoes has spikes underneath them, so that he would not lose his footing while fighting his enemies because the enemy will set a trap down the road by making it slippery to cause the soldier to slip and get hurt, disabling him from participating in the battle. We see this with anything that diverts our attention away from preaching the gospel. We become spiritually cold, and that links to other things in doing God's will until we are found incapacitated to be used by God. With the gospel on your feet being your foundation, it will guide you on how to live for the Lord and it will prepare you to be used by the Holy Spirit who will take you to those who need to hear the good news. Like one who is suffering from illness, depression, problems with family or any other bad situation they are going through. When you bring them the good news of the gospel, you give them hope. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30 The light of the eyes cheers the hearts and good news nourishes the bones. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7 how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Jesus commanded us in Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, even to the end of the age. We must be obedient to the Lord by telling people about this wonderful gospel that will save them from a real and literal hell. Not telling people makes you look less like Christ, who wants all to come to repentance. If you are a believer, remember that Jesus in his great mercy sent someone to tell you about Christ. So you in turn are expected to do the same. Loving Jesus is expressed by keeping his word and loving your neighbor as yourself. How exactly does a believer do this? By putting the scriptures into practice and telling your neighbor the good news about Jesus Christ. This is the end of part four. Thank you for listening.